we started with a shot. Let's get it. Ooh. Uh-huh. God damn, that's how you start the show, baby. Is it smoking? Yeah. Episode 12, we here live under the Jokes Up Cave. You know Studio City, baby. If you know, you know. If you don't, put it in your address. Look it up, baby. I'm here with my co-host. Yeah, you right here with Folky. You already know what it is. And we here with? Big Daddy Mike, what's happening, dog? Pierre, nigga, the face of ice cream. Hey, oh, you know the motherfucking vibes? And what are we trying today, bro? Let them know, let them know what we tasted today. This is... My new strand, P Zotics. It looks like P Zotics, but it's P Zotics, you know? Hell so, uh, it's that more like bag the design is so fire, you know? Hell yeah, I fucking love it. Pop, I just popped the tag on this one, and I like how it has like this little bone that you could like tear. Zip. Uh, like a it's zipper. Good, so you close the bag back and it's like. I know, I fucked one up. Oh, yeah, you could close it back yeah. up. You know, oh, you, you could? You, got, you gotta, oh, you gotta, you gotta yeah, protect yeah. your bags. The presentation. Yo, talk a little bit about the bag, bro. This is amazing. I know you didn't just go to sleep and wake up with this. So, like, last year, we did this. My brother did this a year ago. Your brother designed this? So, I travel a lot, and all my fucking Instagram pictures and shit is just, like, me in the airport with my Louis uh, bag. So, he was like, oh, let me make something like you. And he did this. I'm like, oh, it's perfect. Yeah, just like fake fake bags. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you trying to get real, Louis. (laughs) (laughs) Only thing you make is my teeth. (laughs) Hey yo, but how about this weed? Hey yo, how about the weed? Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, bro, how about the weed? What, what, what's this cross with? This looks really good. It's smells like really a, good. Uh, it's more like a, a indica. It's a hybrid, but it's uh, indica dominant. Okay. So it's more like a uh, like a Obama runs cross. Oh. But it's fire. It smoked real clean. Nah, it smelled really good too yeah. already. And you, you, get, you get high as fuck, but you can still function. Hey, I have to function. I be outside, so I gotta know what's going on. No, 100%. Yo, talk a little bit about how you decided, like, to pick that strain. Like, how did that happen? And then, what uh, does, how, how did you and Mike meet? And, and yeah. like, what different parts do you guys play? Like, we here to hear it all, man. How, how do you say it in your world? The T? We want the T, <laughs> I want the T. They want the Snapple T, baby. <laughs> nah, well, I don't want the Snapple T. I want the real T. Yeah, the P-Zotics. P-Zotics. Oh, yo, and uh, shout out DJ let them know, man. We killing them. We working hard. This is another episode for they bummer cuts. You feel me? And we right here. If you know who this man is, you know. If you don't, go on Instagram. You do your homework, man. Oh, yeah. Go outside. So let us know. Where, where y'all want to start, man? I'm uh, ready to hear it all. Me and Mike met like 10 years ago in the valley here. What we need at, man? Instagram? No, I knew your baby mama. Oh, Yuri! Yeah. <laughs> I was cool with Yuri. And uh, shit, that's how we met. That's crazy. They had a party, him and Nick had a party. Me and my friend Jess B went over there and shit. He was like, oh, don't bring your friend Pierre. He's about to tell my baby mama where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, and we went over there, we turned up. And they have been like besties ever since. So, that's hard. Yuri's asking to pull the first day. Oh, okay. What? Right. Yeah, no, you're not. Fat ass well going there. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much attention he wants a liar. No, he doesn't. I, <laughs> I, I know Mike. Yeah, you know. Cool. Yo, you guys have a good relationship. You Besides know? Mike being his business partner, remember when I told you the first time I smoked weed, it was with my homie Mike? Is this nigga right here. <laughs> this the bad influence, gang. He had to smoke it out of an apple, remember? It's me and my other homie Chad. So, me and Mike... Close friends, so he's he a bit of a jokester. So just know this episode is gonna be full of impactful. This nigga is a joke. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Let's start there. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that's how I know this relationship is is really tight because they fuck around just like how any I fuck with my boy. Oh, that's just man. hilarious, bro. Yo, and and that's what it takes, man. So, uh, with the with the weed industry, the way it is, you gotta you gotta have that joyful, positive, positive like energy. Like, yeah, yeah. don't call my phone with that bullshit. If you're in my life and you're not bringing no positivity, it could be your girl, it could be your friend, like. We I, we know shit ain't good right now. We know we at, might go to war, but if you surround yourself with people that got that creativity and only look at the positive shit, you tend to live a cool life, bro. You tend to not even know what the world's up to because you get caught up in your bubble and your circle. So I really want to applaud your brother, bro, because the design on this is epic and says you always be around girls and shit. It goes Perfect. hand in hand. Perfect. Everybody want to pitch you just like it. Yeah, yeah. And, and the girls want to be a part of it. Like, yeah. yo, talk a little bit about that and like, like, when's the first time you even smoked, like, weed or even got into the Hollywood life? And, you know, yeah, like... Yeah, what made you, uh, like, what made you want to get into Hollywood life? Uh, uh, <laughs> like, so okay, good. the first time I smoked weed was... Shit. I don't know how many years ago, but... A long time ago. But, tell us about but I, I was grown, like, 22. 
Hey, he's 40 now, so you know. Long, long, long time ago. Two more years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it was cool. One time I caught the, uh, the paramedics. The ambulance. Little oh, Mike. Hey, right. yo, Mike. That happened to Mike. Mike. Yo, <laughs> yo, that happened to Mike, too. Hey, yo, tell him, Mike. What happened the first time you smoked, bro? Yeah, my first time I was in the hood. I was there. I was you know, chilling. Yeah, I was chilling. <laughs> now, fuck. Nigga, I was over there doing... Uh, bench press, bench press. Bench press. He tried to hit the blunt and bench press at the same I'm, time. I'm thinking I'm cool, man. You know, everybody, all the cool guys, you know, everybody in the hood, like, I hit the story. <clears throat> <laughs> Nine one one. Hell, get me! <laughs> Come now. Yo, true story. True story, yo. And you know what yeah. pisses me off about this story, bro? This nigga stopped smoking after that for a long yeah, time. For sure. But then he got me trying it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah. That's nuts, bro. So what happened though? Let's so that's the same thing uh, happened to you too. They came, they came. I didn't end up going out. By the time they got there, you calm calmed down. down. Yeah, like I was. I was in the bathroom. Me and my friends. I leave the bathroom door open. Nigga, I was on the toilet and with a uh, uh, trash can in front of me. I don't know what I had to do. Oh, you were on the But I was scared as fuck. Yo, yeah. man, no, I might I, laugh with no, them. No, one of my friends like, hey, you know if they come, you gotta pay. Seven hundred dollars if they come get you. You like I'm good. Oh no, what? Be like they here. Yeah. It was like they here. Yeah. But when they came, Mike, Mike left with them. So you stayed. You said Mike. He like gave him the seven. That nigga, Mike left, bro. It was. By the time they got there, I was good. I'm like, nah. I was like, see that pussy. Oh, so you were in the fucking yeah, ambulance, right? And around. what happened when you got there? What did they do? I just want to know what they did. Uh, they said, first question they asked me was, Do you need something else? <laughs> 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 and then after the person, t- person was like, yo, were you, were you doing any drugs? I'm going to be honest, sir, I was smoking weed. You need some milk, sir. <laughs> yeah? They told me, they said, you want to get down now? You want to come with us? I said, I want to go with you guys. I don't want to get out. I don't want to be no parts of this. I want to be good. I want to be Ooh, home. Sweet. I want this feeling to go away. When you smoked, did you guys feel your heartbeat? Yeah. 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 Feel everything, bro. I so, should be fast. Yeah, that's what I felt, too. I like my heart was just coming out of my chest. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I felt. And then, like, my homie's like, I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Hey, that's so real homie. Like, hey, are you hot? I'm hot. No, you get your body. And then hit, I'd be like, are you cold? I'm freezing. <laughs> you know, my heart is beating fast. Yeah. Yeah, mine's bad. Hey, bro, but I got a question to ask. How do you go from having two co-owners that went from having a crazy experience with weed, but look at y'all now, bro. Oh, got your first Wait, strain you dropping. Just like money Hey, that's what it is. It's a straight, it's a straight money play. Yeah. Facts. Hey, ain't no, no wrong with that. So, how, how did, like, how did you even end up being in its position to even make that happen. Because you know a lot of people yeah. would want to, but they don't have the infrastructure, he they don't built, have the connection. He built this where we at right now. This is what he built. Okay, let me okay. tell you. Yeah, tell us the story. You know me for years. I've been outside always. Always. Clubs, partying, whatever. Yeah. But not just partying. I always yeah, notice you. Not, yeah. and, <laughs> no, but not just that too, bro. Like, because I was there filming. Yeah. So me, I was. Sir. Yes. Sir. Shout out to Daniel Sir. and all them motherfuckers. Sir. Yes. Shout out, start, bro. Yeah. Good, good relationships, Facts. good moments there. Man. Facts. Man. Man. Yeah, those good times. That location is probably why God hasn't blessed me with a son. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. like, you got a daughter. You get another one. Like, yeah. hopefully the next the one comes out right. Yeah, but right. I always remembered you, bro, being outside, bro, but not just being outside. You were always with the playmakers. You were always with the celebrities. You were always putting shit together, which always, I always gravitated towards you because of that. Because I was like, hold up, this nigga's a shaker and a mover. Because you you knew me. I wasn't just no regular cameraman yeah, yeah, yeah. either. I was I was filming, but I was I was trying to figure some shit out. <laughs> you feel me? And shout out to Mike, because we just have this energy on us. that It don't matter where we at. Yeah, we're crazy. Yeah, we're loud. Yeah, we're obnoxious. But at least you get rawness from us. And people do love that. And that's just what it is. And we're not changing for no one, bitch. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, bro, let us know how this all came about. Because... I mean, it was like three, almost three years ago, I was hosting The Vibe, mm. and I, I had two uh, two homies, one named Lefty, one is C, and I was living my niggas for years, and uh, they, uh, friends with Scott, which is the owner of Ice Cream, Fine. and I was hosting, they're like, oh, Pierre, we, uh, we got the owner of this cannabis brand, yada, 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 they're about to revamp it, and, you know, we think you should come in and make it do something, so they all came to my host, and he came to, he met me. He saw like how people was fucking with me. How I'm like, I ain't oh, no celebrity. Fucking bitch. 
Oh, you mean fucking you? Nah, not oh, fucking. Oh, nah, but I know what you but mean. Nigga, yeah. We know Mike. Yeah, yeah. Fucking with Remember we told you about Mike? <laughs> so people turn fucking with me, you know. Oh, tell you. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out and hide you shit. I think you know, got to take this work and he saw that. Yeah. Um, okay, he kind of okay. saw like my little influence with the crowds and all that shit. So he's like, oh, come to the office, let's have a meeting, yada yada yada. And and, and not 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 to not yeah. to not to um cut you off, but to cut you off, just to, so they understand, like Look, man, a, a lot of people go to the club. It's celebrities. There's trappers. There's uh, mafia niggas. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, look, call me a snitch, whatever. I'm telling you the truth. Maybe it's because I'm wiped up and I don't be in that life no more, so I'm going to just say it all because I don't give a fuck no more. Because, look, if somebody can move from table to table and still keep yeah. that, nigga, that's a gift. Yeah. So I, one thing I want people to take from today's podcast is you could really leverage your Rolodex. You could really leverage your personality, your connections, to make something that could once, you know, be a household name. Yeah, Shout out facts. to P. Exotics to that. Facts. So tell us. So yeah, we went from there. Uh, came for a meeting. It was cool. We talked. I, I, it was the meeting was actually in here. I came for meetings for like two weeks. I was was like, this oh, painted like this when you came? No, we got this done last year. So this is your culture. It, it was just ice cream, but then I would talk about how we did the collab with jokes up. It was just ice cream at first. Fine, okay. So uh, I came here, we did that, then I, I signed a contract, I came on. Uh, it was cool. I talk a little bit about that contract if you can, because right. you know, even somebody like me, uh-huh. I, I, I'm good at getting into position, but then I never know how to properly paper right. the work, the shit, the shit. and I always get... F- I didn't know either, but I learned, because I, everything I did for them, I already did kind of for other celebrities. Just to do it, just because I'm just cool like that, and I already had my own money, so I didn't really need it like that. But then when I came here, I realized, oh, this shit could really make me money. Like, yeah. I really start building my own self up just to be Pierre, not Pierre that helping this person or this person. It was just all about, kind of like just me. So exactly. Like, so yeah, I can relate to that, yeah. bro, because as a video man, I would, you see me, I would film yeah. with all different celebrities, and I would always go to different people's camp. And Mike, he was my childhood friend. He would always be like, oh, you hanging out with that nigga today? Oh, he, you know he like to make jokes. He's like, hey, don't give Mike is a basketball wife. You know, he goes. Yeah, he is a basketball uh, wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Nick Young don't like that one. Yeah. And, oh, he you know. <laughs> 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 Damn. There's some, no. there's some hey. people I don't even want to be up. <laughs> hey, now, this is the homie, though, man. Just know this hey. table is all about working hard and we pushing the ramble up. But some shit's true. Yeah. <laughs> some shit's true. Hey, but uh, okay, so talk a little bit about that paperwork and when that deal came together like that. So then it came with like, you know. Like when you said, yo, this can make me some bread. Yeah, so I pretty I would just represent the brand. I have a lot of, like, you know, celebrity friends, influencers that would come here. Some of them don't even smoke. They just came just because it was me. And did post. Wow. Like, you know they charge for posting shit? Yes. Post. Oh, it's you? Oh, yeah, we'll come. I don't even smoke. I don't even need nothing. That's just, I'm just going to do it because it's you. and we happy to see you doing something. Yeah. Yo, so shout so out to that. Do it. I'd be like, damn, you really come to do that for me? But even though I would do anything for them, I'm like, fuck. No, but you know what yeah. it is, bro? We put in our work, bro. With these yeah. different celebrities, people from the outside, they might look at it like, damn, you just over there slaving or whatever relationship yeah. you got. But they don't know. We really over there working our angle yeah. and really being genuine friends to these people, bro. Yeah. These people's from other places in town. They need genuine people in town that can have their backs. Yeah. Put them on game. Tell them about restaurants. Tell them who to watch out for. Like, there's a lot of shit to this shit, B. Like, yeah, you're a good person like that. They value it. Yes. So I'm like, damn, everything I kind of did is like, oh, anything for you, Pierre. It holds value. So that, that meant a lot. That's a good moment, though. I love y'all so much. Yo, that's a good moment, though, right, yeah. bro? To be able to, because a lot of times, how many celebrities do we work for where that shit don't go on appreciated? Yeah. You feel me? And I feel you because I was doing a bunch of shit for so many people that one day I really had to tell myself, bro, when are you going to build you up? When yeah. are you going to grow? Like, like, nigga, everybody, okay, everybody knows you for being with people now. Right, right, when right. are you going to walk in and make a presence? And I'm not going to lie, bro, because from afar, I would always keep up with your Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I started liking when you did it. Started to do that. I yeah. I seen when you wasn't. A lot of people did. In yeah. the beginning, you were. You was, bro. Yeah. You was playing your position like how somebody would. Kind of like how Desto Dub said he was going on tour with all these people. He met Future five times. Didn't say shit about uh, awful lot of syrup until it was asked. You know. And I feel like you did that for a long time. Right. And a lot of people was like, Yo, when is it gonna turn yeah. up? And then it just came to me. Now everybody's so supportive. Like, yeah, we're so happy we see you. And I'm just like, Damn, y'all really paying attention. But it, it, it goes, I'm like, damn. Yeah. Everything I do is me now. So that's what's so, going on. Hell yeah. So then talk, talk about that deal when you came here. And besides 
uh, celebrities coming in and just taking pictures and, and doing shit for free. Like, how was that registering to being here and making a name for yourself? And this, the people that you came into business with, uh-huh. they're finding value in you now. Yeah, so it, it's crazy. They saw from the beginning from word of mouth. And then when I came and did what I did, when I first got the first contract, it was cool. And then when it was time, six months came, they came to me like, oh, Pierre, you doing it this week, they took it up. And then the negotiations again, they took it up again. Wow. So I'm like, oh, I'm really doing something here. So that that, that was really good. And I love the company. Shout out to Scott Brown. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's cool. I'm happy to be here. Man, yeah, what a blessing, great. bro. And now tell us a little bit about what you've done for them. Um, now we know what what what, the, what they did and how they looked out. What have you done since you got no, here? Besides, I mean, you know, get the walls painted and put some culture <laughs> into the walls. No, nah, to be honest, when you drive by, you know, you've been in the store. It's fucking beautiful. Yes. And it's like an ice cream shop. Yeah, One time I actually pulled up trying to buy ice cream. No, man. old people come all the time with people with their kids. Like, is it ice cream? We're like, nah, it's <laughs> this. And they'd be, they be like, it's so beautiful, but we don't do that. Yeah. But <laughs> pretty much it was like a hidden gem. Right. You, you, if you knew, you knew. So me being outside, everywhere I went, literally everywhere, you can tell you, every club, every party, I had a, a bag with me that said ice cream with pre-rolls in it, with business cards, with weed, and just pass them down the club, everywhere. He's like, like, fuck, stop working, nigga, let's turn up. I'm like, no, I'm here to do this. Exactly. Post. Take that pre-roll and post this shit, and tag ice cream and tag me, and then just start... Oh yo, okay, yeah. so now we see what you were doing during that time, and now when you're telling him, yo, stop working, what have, what have you been doing? Like, how, how, how do you up. turn it up the whole time? <laughs> like, you just the plug, you just like, turn you just up. said, fuck it, like, this my nigga, we rocking, I'm supporting, I'm investing. Bring another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. my nigga Mike. Even you know when I would do shit for, like, the company and shit, we go out, and it's just us going out, he would get bottles and make them bring a sign that says ice cream. Or Pierre and shit like that. That was love. That was very important. Hey, that yo. Right hey, yo. Yeah, he do that shit. That's crazy, because this is my childhood friend. He never did that shit with me. Hey, but it's cool. Though. We're not talking about that right now. But, yo, no, bro. You know what's so beautiful? Bro, you know what's so hard? How many times do you meet somebody that kind of sees something going for you and say, yeah. fuck it, I'm here spending it anyway, but let me let me put the next man in front of me. Yeah. Like, there's no need to say Big Daddy Mike. He already did that 30 times. Hey, right. Like, like, I... Because, bro, a lot of my opportunities, a lot of money, a lot of situations, I have a lot of, like, my cars. All these is just little trophies, and that's mm-hmm. just from good deals, bro. Good moments, like, good situations I locked in. And I feel like this way, what you got going on, it's a little bit of that, and it makes it that much special. Yeah. And I can't wait to smoke this shit. How was the breakdown on it, bro? You rolled bro, it up. the pre-rolls are already fired. This shit's already, I could tell it's going to be good. The pre-roll, look, I finished mine down to the fucking tip. It's really good, really. Shout out, That's P. Excited. I didn't even roll Yo, don't, this shit tastes like ice cream. It looked like a Birkin bag. You but said it's, it's Obama's for sure. Bro, this is a Birkin bag with an ice cream cone in it. So, <laughs> just know that's what's going on right here. Shout out, shout out, P. Exotics, y'all. Man, bro, this is, this is special. Yeah. And only, I'm not gonna lie, th- like, even this, the way it's open, Nigga, I want to, like, you know, maybe put, like, roaches in here if I want to use that as an yeah. ashtray or maybe, yeah. like, you want to try to use this for you something else. Throw that bag you don't want to throw this away, like. That's a cool ass bag, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I know. I'm already, my, I was with my brother the other day. He's like, damn, I already got to work on your other bag. I was about to just say that. And I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> this, I got so much love for this bag. It's crazy. Facts. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, and, and shout out to him. Like, I don't know if he does designs for other people, but he's, he's. It seems, it seems like, again, off your relationships, people aren't asking you, like, what do you want? Because, you know, as somebody that could do graphics all day, me as a videographer, I can always tell the client, hey, what do you want to do? So I can just run them up, take right. all their money. But if they gave, told me, hey, Ernesto, we know you have the experience. We're going to give you this amount of money. What do you want to do? Like how they did with yeah. you? It's you a different story. Yeah. And, man, shout out shout out to the people that took a chance on you, yeah. bro. That's, that's, yeah. that's fucking dope. And shout out to Mike, always... You know, being a, a good Turn friend and, and helping the movement and helping the energy go. Because a lot of times, let's be real, because, again, I live that celebrity life being with these rich-ass people. They don't got to be celebrities. It could just be rich niggas. Yeah. Bro, one day they like you, one day they don't. Yeah. Right? Did you say I didn't even have to look at you when I said that? Uh-huh. So sometimes you need your own little team, your own little self-group that creates the vibe. And these niggas are the tricks that come. Not, not to call y'all that. Y'all are the niggas that come and do your thing. <laughs> yeah. Bro, at wow. least you've created a team around you that, uh, like, nigga, yeah. this is P Exotics, nigga. And besides yeah, that, you feel me? I got to take a shot to that. Let me get a shot. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay. Hey, I'm me I'm too. I'm we shot it up. We shot it up, man. Shot to that, though. 
Let's get right. Let's get yeah, right. You. Real quick. So, so tell us a little bit more about the stuff you did here, bro. When when they took that chance on you. Um. What? Are, so you know, have like uh, sponsorships and like little. You know, when you have uh, events and you do vendor shit. Like even that shit, you have to pay for that. All that was just given to me. You come, just do it. Just come, do it. Even Ooh, now, for my brand, hefty. they hit me up for complex kind of like a, a basketball game on oh, Thursday. Yeah. They're like, Pierre, come, set up your setup. You don't gotta pay for nothing. Wow. Like, now why? Sometimes like, why me? No, no, not why me, me not why me. You earned that. Like, 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 no, you want to know? You want to know why, bro? Cause maybe that when you was living that nightlife, you don't remember. Cause you know we. We know the fast life. Right. But, bro, you probably created a moment for somebody that you don't even know. They probably met their wife because of you, nigga. Right. They, they, like, let's be real, bro. Like, let's be real. How many homies you got that probably met the girl of their right. dreams because of you? That's true. Like, I used to, I used to be in this line of work, so. What the fuck? Because she was with me. It made it easier. That that happens. Hey, I'm keeping it gangster, baby. Yeah. You feel me? So let's be real. And, and and it's so cool that people could register like, damn, this nigga got my back. Because a lot of times, a lot of niggas just take. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll be around. They they, they use their they use their money and their leverage. But it's cool when you find genuine niggas. Because it's rare, bro. You know? Yeah. And thank God, like, we, we LA natives. So we, we that's why I, I cheer and applaud you, gang, all day. Oh, I got my two. Yeah, we got our shots. But, you that? I'm for George. Oh, shit. oh, you put us all a yeah. shot? This yeah. nigga's slick. <laughs> hey, he's dangerous. <laughs> hey, yo, both. Hey, yo, this guy's dangerous. Hey, yo, you're I'm slick. Hey, bro, I look down and said, when did I pour mine? Yo, cheers, bro, to all the work and all the success. No, no chase. <laughs> Fuck it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, drink it all? Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, that's right. He said, all right, cool. Yo, Mike, so um, tell us a little Should bit about. Cheers? That's not Mike. <laughs> he said, that's not mine. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking for that one. <laughs> yeah. Yo, he do be saying shit like that. He said, hey, nah, get that shit out of here, dog. Hey, yo, tell us. That's what Tell us. Now, nigga, I just drank all right here, bro. Oh, okay, we can share this one. I know you're going to take it. <laughs> yo. I'm about my bitch. Yeah, what about her? <laughs> She's fine. Hey yo bro, so let me let me tell you right now, gang, how did it feel being around his success while he's going through all that? Because you've been man, his friend for the last ten years. Man, look, take, I used take to tough. Hey, how to go outside grab from the club. He used to be outside <laughs> like Mike, Mike, I'm here. Get me in, get me in. I'll be like, God damn, so I have to text Joey back up. Big Joey, what's happening? <laughs> hey Joey, can get my homie in, please? You know, he's outside looking stupid. Yeah, you know, right. Even so, Ernesto, though, that's not true. So that's, me, I, I can't know, believe that. Joey had to go outside. I can't believe that. No, that's cool. Be true. That's, that's not true. true. That's not true. That's, 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 that's not true. I'm glad, I'm glad he grew no. up, though. Like, nah, nah, I'm not that. that. I'm in the club. Nah, I know that. Nah, no, Nick, Nick, Nick don't want to go out today, so he can't go in because he doesn't have the table. Nah, I know. Yeah, he can't move without Nick. Joey, can you? Hey, little Mike, can you get my cup? Help me, help me. Hey, yo, hey, what's Nick? Nick got, got him hip to that life. He he, he never I'm left. He, he became a Don fucking with y'all. I love it, bro. Shout out to shout out to that, yo. Dog out. That's what he was. Hey, man. Shout out to Mike. And shout out to But now he's on his own table. So I'm proud of you, Pedro. Hey, no, for real. <laughs> hey, no, it's Pedro, crazy. Hey, no, it's crazy. Hey, shout out to the homie, bro. Shout out to Mike, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but for real, I used to tell. Remember when I told you when you made your Instagram, dog? When I when I used to make your Instagram, dog? Before I used to tell. Remember when I told you when you made your Instagram, dog? When I when I when I told Nick Young when I told you and Tina make an Instagram at 300 Gym and I said, dog, which one you using it to be? He's like, Big Daddy Mike. <laughs> bro, I'm like, fuck that, nah, nigga, nah. As his homie, I was like, nah, nah, you can't do it, dog. You can't name that. And then yeah, I, I, it. I, yeah, bro, he yeah. became, yo, he became it. And as as his homie, I'm so proud of him. I'm. I'm, it's like I'm over here asking for a job, nigga. Like, hey, help, nigga. Hey, but um, <laughs> talk up a little bit about being peace friend, bro. While all this is happening, uh, besides just being in the club, like, come, I know he's letting you in on the deals he's closing. Like, uh, were you helping him, like, help put some connections together? Yeah, when he first got this job, is when I first got my trap house going. That's crazy. That's when he first first got his job here. And he used to ask me, like, yo, like. He used to want to come over there to see what we're doing, like how to learn learn about the weed process and shit. All of a sudden, it blew up. That's crazy. Talk about that. Like, what, what, what was some stuff? Oh yeah, my, Mike bought me my Rolex and my car. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. nothing major, brother. He's going to be lying. He's telling everybody that thought. They're going to be lying. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's sick. Man, yeah, you know, Mike is give sick. Give me my money back. <laughs> come, you come work for me, you know you get nice Bro, things. I fuck this shit. <laughs> hey, he got too many, he got too many shots. Hey. <laughs> he's talking fuck. Hey, yo. that's sick. Hey, yo, Mike, Mike, bro. I, I ain't going to lie, bro. My nigga lie a lot, but yeah. it, it's fun. Like he, he, he's the type of you hanging out with people, and he'll throw you in a crazy lie where you standing there. You, it just makes sense to say yeah. <laughs> so before you know it, nigga, you in some shit, gang. Like they gonna be like, hey yo, Mike said this, this, and that, but he said you was right there looking like a boss, and you was in the Lambo, right, and all this other shit, right? And then you right there like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you know Mike, whatever he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Oh, man. Hey, bro, this weed is smoking really good around the rim right here. We're getting that little oil, so you know this is verified smoke. The ash yeah, is nice let and the white. people know when this is dropping. So, is there gonna be a pre-release or dropping? When is this uh, dropping? Dropping Saturday. The big drop is Saturday. So big drop 18. on Saturday. You know we got DJ Breeze in here spinning. Chicka chicka chicka. Uh, we got your next brother. Oh yeah, Yolo cups. I got like tacos and mm -hmm. shit. Food. Okay. Oh food. yeah, shout out Yolo. Yeah, that's my love nigga. Him. Yeah. We love him, yeah. bro. Shout out to that that's my Service brother, bro. And yeah, then Michelada's gonna be hitting on Saturday. Oh, this, oh, oh this, is, this, this is gonna be fun, bro. We it's gotta pull up to this. this yeah. A couple yeah. other drops here too. Shout out to Joe Montana. Uh, Nero. Oh, I know Joe Montana, yeah, yeah. bro. I did her first, uh, not her first, I did one of her music videos. It's one of her yeah, popular ones dope. on her she's Instagram. Dope. She's hard as fuck, she's bro. She's bro, when I pulled she's up. She's dropping on Saturday, too. Oh, really? That's, 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 that's going to be big. That's the one with the donut. Yep, yep. Bro, Cosmic Cream. Yep. Cosmic Cream. Cosmic, Cosmic Cream. Cream, that's hard. Shout out Cosmic yep. Cream, man. Shout out uh, Drove, Joe Montana. Man, uh, her music video is the one where she in the house with all the bitches. Bro, I pulled up and I'm shooting the music video and I'm like, it's harder than all the nigga shit I film. <laughs> I love it. And she, like, we just met that day, and we met through her girlfriend, because um, my boy Bevel, they know each other from back from CT or whatever. Shout but, out to her girlfriend, too. Love her. Oh, yeah, she's mad cool. Alex. Yep. Shout out, Alex, okay. man. Hey, man, it's a, it's a, good, it's a good time, man. Yeah, so, yo, talk a little bit about the stuff that you did for these people, bro, because I want any young hustler that's at home watching this shit, besides seeing us enjoying our drinks, talking good weed, and... Talking about your drop and your new, your first bag. I just wonder, like, hold on, let me just put a pause. Can I see oh. this, please? Yes, sir. Because okay. I think he needs to wait, hit his wait, own wait, 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 Where is the mic? No, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Peter. This is the, this is the mic. Show. Let me hear that. What you got to say, yeah, say Mike? I'm going to your own joy in the smoke. Yeah, and we ain't throwing out the own. Let's go. We're going to share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, this is good. Matter of fact, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, up. This. I love this shit. I'm gonna record this. Hey, they not niggas are smart. Wonder Woman. Somebody call the hotline. I'm rolling up for you right now. Let's go. Somebody call the paramedics. Call the paramedics. He said we going back. Get me. He said we going back. Hey, no, no. Hey, no cap. Mike got better at smoking, man. As he got home. He got better at smoking. Nah. Mike was just high a few months ago when he called me like, I gotta go home, brother. Hey, he was smoking. He me one look. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Got that whole shit. Yeah, oh, give me that. Pass that back over here, bro. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What's wrong with him? Yo, yeah, bro. So let us know some of the cool stuff that you've done over here because I seem oh, like he brought the culture uh, here. Yeah, I, I know a couple of things that he's done cool oh. here. Let us know. Oh. Yeah, in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in the elevator? Let's hear this. Let's, oh, I need shit. to hear this. Oh. You gotta be the sickest dude I know in the world. What the fuck is wrong with you? Know, what happened in the elevator? Nothing, brother. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm high. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, nothing, brother. I'm just high. I'm, I'm high talking. Oh, we need that story. Yo, bro. so besides the collabs, besides being able to leverage your relationships, all that, besides that, besides I'm in love, all that. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm right. Uh, <laughs> like, what's something that somebody at home could take from this podcast? Like, okay, let me do this, or when I meet somebody, let me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's something you, you give to somebody out there listening to this, uh, man? The biggest thing I learned, honestly, is just being myself. I'm yeah, really man. always just me. That's and shit. Um, <laughs> depends who he's with. There's one person he acts really weird around. He acts like he's like, you know, I love her to death. Though. That's my dog. Who? But when he gets around her, it's a different P. He's not P. Exotics. It's not it's Pierre Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's that? I love you, Nikki. 
Oh, oh no, I'm still wild around Nikki. We wild no, together. No. Who Nikki? No. Nikki, my best friend. Nikki, baby. When we first met. Oh, Nikki, baby. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna no. be wild. No. 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 When you hear around Boogie, it's, it's not even Pierre Norris. No nah, that ain't true. That's nah. Oh. Nah, he turns to his real age. When he's, <laughs> <around his birthday. laughs> when he's around Boogie, he turns 40. <laughs> <laughs> okay, relax. You know, Yo, wait, who's Boogie? Uh, you know, not, no one, brother. We're just high talking again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what the fuck happened in that? Hey, he the ones that he high talking. This is crazy. Hey, I think that we helping him. I think that we, I think that we no, helping no, him. For real, just be yourself. That's I'm the sorry. one of the biggest things. I swear, just being me really paid off for me. I think. That's yeah. that's lit, bro. That's fire, bro. I really got some of the best friends like you in the world. I'm like, wow, successful friends, friends that's successful in their own right or successful globally. And they just fuck with me no matter what. Like, Pete, we got you. What you want to do? Ooh. So that means a lot. Can That's I have the lighter, please? That means a lot. Sheesh. You see it? Uh-oh. So you got you to get them right. No, you got to get them right. That's fine. Yo, so besides. Higher, 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 now, nah, yeah, we'll, we'll hold on. We'll, 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 we'll smoke this one, then one more, then then he'll smoke. You know, because yeah. you know we still thirty minutes in. We still want to yeah. hear the story, bro. We know there's, there's a lot uh, to this yeah. hustle, man. All right, man. Let us know about. No, no, you not. You don't. You don't talk. You answer. <laughs> There you go. I like it. <laughs> he said, the what the fuck's wrong questions. with you? He got, got questions for his own. <laughs> like, yo, he touched the shit on the supposed yeah. to touch. Uh, so now, but I still want to know, like, what, like, besides the celebrities, besides the relationships, what other creative value, what little things that you've done that you've noticed with your investor or your business partner, they really appreciate it. Like, nah, what it is, I'm going to tell you, he does do a lot for his company and what he appreciates more. He's, he's, he travels with his shit everywhere he goes. Mm. He takes this shit global. Word. It's not just here. Yeah. He goes everywhere with this shit. Everywhere. And that's a risk. That's 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 dangerous. And and, and shout out to that because you believe in the brand. You believe that whatever rules and whatever shit we living by right now, it, this ain't going to be the future. Yeah. So yeah. kind of like everywhere so, I go, no matter where, it's like I'm low-key working. Yeah. Because no matter who's with me, I'm like, hey. I'm in Tokyo. Hey, can you take a picture with this and tag it or do that? They, that's really that shit really goes yeah. places. No, it so, does. It does. Yeah. And Joe, that really helps, bro. I learned that they like you. Never, my friends, you take a day off because you got the shit with you. I'm like, I mean, it, it became a part of me now. No, so 100%. Just, yeah. it makes what, sense. What made you? This is my question. What made you want to make your own? You know, like. Was well, it because your brother? Because your brother made that design. You said he had yeah. it. He had it in the fucking. He was already cooking this shit for a he year. He made this design a year ago. Yeah, this was already that. made a year ago. Yeah, yeah so you're like, sitting there. So y'all had an idea yeah, already yeah. stirring but up. Actually, the owner Scott Brown and his his fiance Kiana, I love them. It was, the they, it was their idea okay. to, to, to do a string around me. Oh, that's what's so up. So that that's what really made me like. And you be around them, you be hanging out yes, with them uh, every day of the week. You know what it is? They, and they, they was like, "Pierre, we wanted to do a strain about you, man." And I was like, "What the fuck?" Yo, talk about that relationship. That's, what I'm saying. that's crazy, bro. Like, like, there's, there's, like there's, I get it. There's a lot. Like you just wake up like me. I, I like doing the same shit, bro. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, like, it just doesn't come. So, like, for you to just do it and make it all happen, like, I really want to know how all that goes down. Yeah, bro. bro. Like, so something to that mm-hmm. for you that you like might you said, think is so simple, dream, yeah. bro. Someone's bro. believing in your, your something dream, that bro. you might think is the simplest shit might be the, a, a game changer for us, bro. You know, my brother says the same thing again. Where I was at his house with uh, dinner Sunday, he's like, "You know what, Pierre? I want to do what you do. You post them on Instagram and you say I want this, and boom." You got it. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. Like, why did you notice that shit? Yeah, manifestation. He, I, I'm like, but I really believe in manifestation. Literally anything I want. And that's where 5D is at. If that's you know 5D. Me, I post a lot on social media. Shout all day. To and if I want something, I'm going to post it. And uh, no matter what I got to do, within reason, I'm going to yeah. do it. No matter how many dicks he got to suck, he going to do it. Wow. <laughs> wow. He going to do it. This nigga crazy, bro. Hey, but he's he going to get it, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get the motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, shout out to Don Julio. Shout out. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike. Don't really have no more No more. Why you put it in front of him? Hey, wrong person. Hey, yo, but hey, no, on some on some real shit, bro. That's that's crazy for the owners of this brand to be like, oh my god, my nigga, you deserve your own brand. Like, and you know what it is? I feel like they did so many collabs with other people, and this is the thing. You wanna know some real shit? Cause we, oh yeah, my bad. This shit's good. Hey. Guys, if you get your hands on the P this Exotic, is gas. this He's is good ass weed. This is 10 out of fucking 10. I'm not even hyping that because these are my boys from back in the day. None of that. Uh, they put some fire. And I told them straight up. I said, look, we boys, but I'm going to judge this oh, shit. Yeah, said, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I'm going to judge. Then, I'm gonna say it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to judge this shit. Nah, like, this shit's gas. Because we got real celebrities. We got real, like, brands. Doja that's coming on. Shout out to Doja. Thank you for hitting us back. That's an episode all the fans look out for. It's coming soon. And shout out to Shaggy from... Chris Brown's brand, co-owner of OHB Farms. We just did our last episode with him uh, yesterday or two days ago. So, like, bro, like, this shit is smoking amongst them. So, don't think, don't, don't get the fucking Birkin fucked up. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that, shit, that shit, hey, that shit back is some heat. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey, hey, low key, in the Birkin, he got the heat. <laughs> he got the heat. <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like a Louis, Louis carry-on. It's a Louis carry-on. Okay, my bad. I keep saying Birkin, but the Louis carry-on. I'm, I'm not in my Birkin yet. I'm on the way to my, I ain't in my Birkin Okay, yet. Hey, that's okay. the next bag. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's the next bag. Yeah, I respect Brandon that. Brandon hasn't posted it yet. I don't want you to manifest that. That's going to be a lot of this <laughs> stuff before you get this. This nigga Mike said. Hey, this shit. Hey, bro. You know Bro, bro, shit be yeah, I'm gonna talk my shit because fuck it, bro. Why not? Yo, bro, one time me and Mike did a little business deal that go too good. You know, we childhood friends, so I'm like, I'm gonna kill you, nigga, like a Scarface, but I would never see my brother, you know? That's, and that's the part that fucking hurt me the most. Like, man, I'm like, nigga, at the end of the day, I gotta try to finesse this thing because we not yeah. about to hurt each other. Yeah, so, so listen, I called his mom, bro. I called his mom, and I was like, I didn't want to tell her it was about weed. So I, I, I said some shit about some shoes and some shit. His mom's like, Nigga, this nigga ain't gave you so many shoes in his whole life, and I was like, I'm, I love you. You, 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 you backed up your bo- your son, and, and it's true, cause growing up, man, whenever I was bored, when there's shit to do, when I was out, I was hungry, nigga, hustling, cause I ran away from my house when I was young, nigga. I, I really had to make my dreams come true, and I did. And shout out to my friend Mike, man. I could always go there for a fucking hot plate of food. I could always go there to play video games. Shout out to all the fun shit niggas was doing back in the day, cause nigga, it's just. It really built me to be the man I am today, and and sometimes you gotta have this funny, crazy, weird personality to yeah. get to certain people. And I, I wanted to kind of touch base on that. Like I know Mike crazy, he says crazy shit, but you, you crazy enough to have him as a business partner. Yeah. And, and yeah. why is that? Well, like, do you see the magic in him? I know I already know that. You know what? Mike is full of shit, but he's supportive as fuck. As fuck. Yo, if Mike. you wanna rob a bank, he's with you. If yeah. you wanna get married, he's with you. yo. He's gonna make it. More, more fun. And it's not gonna seem as serious. Cause Mike will make it fun. Fun. Yeah. And it could be the most bro, serious shit. Yeah. Bro, bro. Let pour me one up too, bro. Yo, this is my brother Mike. You gotta give this nigga his flowers. Yo. Hey, yo, yo, Pierre, you want your bunny? Hey, but shout out to Pierre. Shout out to Mike for having us for show. Thank hey, y'all for pulling up. This shit nigga. Is yo, y'all doing y'all shit, so I, pour, I appreciate y'all just squeezing in. Nah, just bro. Nah, 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 if, nah, and you I just said, nigga, no, because I told you last week and you said Monday and I'm busy. No, you've been busy you and we, no, we rescheduled. It's, it's about being consistent and I have a vision, bro, and I just don't want the, the, the big CEO's perspective. I want your perspective and how you, bro, this is all beautiful stories. I'm a director at the end of the day. I make movies. And all I want to do is make a movie from all of these Cheers ones. Cheers to that. A, movie, a Cheers. film. Cheers. 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 Movie, though. Directed by La Paz. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That, that's the tag. Directed by La Paz. That's it, my nigga. You know the vibe. Sure. Yo, you want to know something funny, too, bro? Talk to us. My nigga Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us. Hold up. I took the shot, nigga, and just forgot. Whoa. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take a whiff of cigarette. Mike, got to go. <laughs> Ooh, everybody. Mike, I forget too. Mike, I forget. Mike said, talk to him. He said, let me take Mike a shot. Go. He said, let me take the shot. Help you remember. Nah, bro, I was, what the fuck was I about to say about Mike, nigga? Oh, listen, this is what it was. Nigga, the day Mike's son was about to be born. Damn. Yeah, I'm sitting with Mike. And <laughs> tell him the story. Tell him. Yeah, this is my nigga. Y'all think I'm lying, bro. Tell him, tell him this story, bro. Man. <laughs> we get a phone call. Listen. My baby mom was like, hey, uh, no, not even there. I heard it from somebody else. So who called? Someone called us like, hey, you 
you're in the lay if you want to go see if that's your son or not. Yeah, and at the <laughs> time, we was playing 2K at his mama house, and, and then he's like, hey, fool. And I'm like, what? He's like, you're in labor. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck? Because I knew he was about to have a boy. Like, you know, I, I get it. He don't got the best relationship with his baby mama. Like, you know, fuck Yuri. But, um... <laughs> um, I was still like, nigga, you gotta go. Be nice to you. Yuri, I love you, Yuri. Like, no, 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 shout out nah. to you, shout out to you. Hey, no, hey, but listen, 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 the story gets good, bro. I'm like, so let's go, Mike. He's like, no, 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 fuck that. Like, uh, run it back. I'm like, run it, nigga, what? Your girl's a labor. He's trying to play 2K, another one. And then I'm like, yo, remember, Mike? I'm like, yo, why, why don't you want to go? Remember? Like, like and, and what did you say? I said, yo. That ain't my baby. And guess what? And guess what I told him when he said, yo, that's not my baby? Guess what I said? I looked at him and I said, hey, nigga, how about if it is? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, look, Liv, the best thing that happened to this fool. Nigga, look, show your tattoo of your son, bro. That nigga look just like him. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm telling you, this is my childhood friend. Yo, DJ, when this kid was born, we was at his house playing video games, gang. And he's and then he's like, hey bro, my girl Yuri, somebody call, somebody somebody called them like my girl's in labor, uh, and I was like, girl, yeah, his, his ex, his, his baby mom, my bad. Hey no, no, DJ be on the same shit like you, so y'all got the same mindset. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, for real, y'all both in the fast lane, for real, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Take my word for it. So listen, yo, DJ, we playing, and then he's like, hey, bro. he's like, run it back, nigga, fuck that bitch. I'm like, whoa, I'm like, he's like, that's not my baby mama. I'm like. Because I've been around him. I'm like, nigga, well, I've been around you, bro. How about if it is, though? And then he looked at me, he's like, all right, but only if you drive. <laughs> and I was like, nigga, let's go. We drove, we got to the fucking hospital, and then, bro, he got... he got have, got, have my charger on me, man. He didn't have I get, shit. I get that. I have a big-ass hickey on me. Uh, From another bitch? Yeah. Keep, yeah, keep going, keep going. I heard, I'm walking in, all her friends are just looking at me crazy. Her uh, friends, her family, her, her mom's mad dogging me. I'm walking in with, with Mike like, hey guys, then, did we make it? And Yuri right there's like, fuck you. Oh, what up, Ernesto? <laughs> fuck you, Mike. <laughs> no, for real, right? Am I lying? Right? He got to see his son be born, bro. And that meant a lot to me because the kid looks just like this nigga. <laughs> and me, the minute the baby came out, I seen him. I was like, oh, yeah, that's Mike. Because this is the thing. I said, if this baby don't look like Mike, we both go ride in the car back and we go go play 2K again. Fuck this, <laughs> fuck this baby. <laughs> but nigga, the baby came out. I was like, oh, no, no. That's your baby. <laughs> I was like, damn, at the time I was hoping it came out, you know, a different color. Like dark. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, nah, for real. Yo, <laughs> that baby don't look like me. No, for real, bro. But guess what, bro? It was, Li bro. It was Liam, bro. And I was like, nigga, that's your kid. And then I remember walking out, and he's looking at me, holding his baby, like, it's me. Like, dog. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, peace, homie. I see you in the flip side. <laughs> Well, and yo, just, and shout out to shout out to today, because today's yeah, and, hey, you're hitting your strain right now. Let hey, let's go. go. Now you, we we about to wrap up yeah. soon. We we reviewed the weed. You you got to learn a little bit about our different stories and shit. But we st I still want to know what Pierre, what value he brought to this company. Not to be on it, but me, bro. I'm a, I'm a student, bro. Everybody I interview, I try to learn <coughs> from. Already, you feel me? <coughs> And, and, and right, all the celebrities you be around, even though we be around them, we pick up on the little nice shit they do. I can no, tell by your fashion. I can tell about the way you carry yourself. Oh, my. Bro, we, my we, life has got so expensive. Bro. <laughs> Fuck. Every month, I'm like, God damn, I need this, I need that. I'm like, damn. Hey, facts. Just keep but it that's all the shit that I wanted. <clears throat> and I'm in a position to just get it. Nice. Out of myself. With nobody, I'd be like, damn. Big P. Bro, Big P. Big P. Talk about that, Big yeah, P. Like, talk that. I, talk your shit, Big P. Um, well, talk your I, shit. I, I, <laughs> hey, just a little hit, man. Let me get high yeah. with y'all, man. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now we'll, we'll hit a couple more. Uh, let me see how long we are. We forty four minutes in, so that's a good number. Let's let, let, let's 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 get to know a couple little more stories, and then we out this thing. Yeah, well, let's, talk, let's, let's talk about high school. 
Which, oh, this nigga, this some good times. Yo, we gonna be here a couple of hours. What about what the hot topics? He said we got some hot topics. Oh, this nigga left. He, dude, his hot topic, he came in here and got a shot. No, I got a hot hey, topic. We should, we should take a break right now and then talk about that. Or you wanna... Fuck a break. We gonna no, keep right, this no, rolling. Once the camera is done, it's done. Let's this go. nigga, you see this nigga? Hey, no, that's what we were talking about the other way, though. Hey, the other way, the other Hey, You feel me? Hey, going Mr. Going George. No, a <laughs> hot topic. How do we feel about that Raider player just hitting a blunt on national television? Oh, fuck it. he don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> He's done. He's a dummy. Yeah, to be honest, I didn't see it. I'm gonna give a fuck. Hey, but good job, good luck. Hey, hey Joe, you know, that's do crazy. It, do what you want to do. do but fuck. yeah, think but about it. He just because he only does it. It's just you gotta hide that shit from everybody. But shout out to him for day, not hiding it, right? No, bro. What he wanted to do, and he knew the consequences. Yeah. He did it. So shout out to you. Yo, and yeah. you want to know why though? Because all these football players don't—they're not right in the head. Well, you don't want to see no. They're not right. You ain't right in the head. Yeah, but so he understands. I got hit a lot of times with it too. You understand? Nah, so you understand. But this is my thing about it. He didn't wait to get in the car and hit it. They they didn't run up on him like there. Nah, nigga, this nigga got off the the field and they're like, "Yo, great game. How do you feel?" That nigga like, "All right, fool." He's like, yo. He's like, I'm fucking with P-Zonics, baby. You feel me? Jokes up. The drop is this Saturday. Yo, tell us a little bit more about the drop before we get out of here, too. Uh, I told you who's dropping with us. Oh, shout out to LB. He has a new bag, too. The DNA. Oh, shit. Yo, LB from Jokes Up, right? Yeah. So that's that's what we did the collab. I think it'll be two years. Young LB right there. Shout out to you. Yo, talk about how that even came up, bro. How did you Uh, bring Joe? So that's something you brought to Ice Cream. Yeah. Jokes Up. That was one of the. Yeah, that is. Talk that was about like the that. first big thing I actually really, well, besides making it people know in this place, but uh, yeah, that was like a big. And then how did that happen? Uh, hey, yo, DJ, we need some hot topics, yeah? So but but we talking about. Score. Walking in real quick. score. Oh, oh, what up, Score? score. <laughs> yo, shout out, Score. If you if you in the game, you know who she is. Always, you feel the score me? Score here, this for you. Hey, yo, come in here, man. We need you in here. Yeah, <laughs> this is official right here. Yeah, no, peace out. the camera right now, my hair, nothing ain't yeah, good. Yeah, you got the jacket. Yeah. Yeah. The I mug is on, the jacket is nice and fit. Oh, yeah, this Diddy we, exclusive. We know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. What the R&B, the, the album you could love. The Love album. The yeah. Love album. Hey, shout out the Love Let's album. See the That's a topic. Yeah. That's, That's a hot topic. Back. We got a Grammy. We're going to see the back. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. got the jacket. Yeah. Squirt got the Pizotics. The Love album. With the Pizotics. Name on it. Ooh, <laughs> that's official. Yeah. All right, we about to roll, y'all. Man. Hey, y'all be love, safe. Love. All right, thank you for dropping by, man. If you ain't got no more hot topics, nigga, you don't hear my in the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibe. Fucking DJ. <laughs> nah, he, <laughs> hey, hey, that's the way we roll it. Hey, I'm gonna make sure I connect with DJ. If that that yeah, relationship yeah, sure. ain't there like that, cause trust me, y'all live in the, the the same movie life, and that's sure. the same. That's the thing about this podcast, like. Bro, Networking. Networking. it's crazy. Like, I've been put in a position, and it's so cool because God knows I'm such a giver. He knows we're not the type of people to get shit and, and, yeah. and hoard it. He knows we're the type of people to get some and, and dish it out to whoever's even next to us, you know? Nice. And God, God likes that shit, bro. So, shout out to that. Shout out to the relationships. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure I can keep connecting good people because these podcasts is good, man. And it's got to the point where I'm even like, hold up. We got to we gotta think about who we put on the show. Like, I'm not going to lie. Earlier, before you guys, we had an episode. Yeah, bro. And I'm going to be real, nigga. Fuck it. I was real during the show. These niggas brought some depths, bro. And I was like, yo, these are depths, bro. I'm like, this show's called Is It Smoking? Y'all, y'all right. bringing bullshit. Um, I don't even think we're going to air that episode. Real shit. You heard that? So, so they brought the... <laughs> bro, they brought that. Bro, bro, Joe, they brought that. I'm trying to give a legit review. I ain't gonna, I'm <laughs> no, like, this is no, a no, guy, no, you know? No, he trying so to be his dick. And yeah. then Ernesto just over there like, what the fuck? That was hot. And I'm over there like, that was hot. it's a five. Like, yeah, they try to be no, no, no. Not, fuck that. That's not what he said. He's that like, he's like, look, edit, if, we're, if, we're, if we're gonna judge it, he's like, I'm gonna. Yeah, die. he's like, I'm no. Go, he said, I'm gonna go off what Ernesto <laughs> says. Like, look, if you he smoke said, weak weed, like low frequency. When you smoke good weed, high. Fre- I was so bummed after that. Yo, he he, he, he just said my quote like a bootleg movie. I'm gonna say it like the well, movie. Say how you say no, it. no, I'm not. But I like that you said it though yeah. because when something gets bootleg, that shit's hot. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now listen, listen. Yeah, that's true. No, it's hot, bro. It's hot. Feel energy up. <laughs> hey, but listen, <laughs> bad weed is gonna have your frequency low. You're gonna make decisions that don't make sense. You're gonna put yourself in a hole. When you take a hit of some good weed, you start reminiscing about good times. You you start thinking about yeah, good ideas. Good you life. start believing in yourself. And something I like about Shaggy that he that he said on the podcast, uh, 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 Chris Brown, you know the guy, 
with his brand. He said, look, man, something I like about Chris Brown, that nigga jumps off a cliff. You feel me? And when he jumps off a cliff, Chris Brown says, I, I don't got a parachute, but I jump. And I promise you, when I get on the ground, nigga, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hurt myself. I'm gonna figure out a way down. So I fuck with the, our, our business models. I fuck with our approach on life. Cause you feel me? That's what it's about, nigga. Like half the time, the full play's not put together. Yeah. It's about hope. It's, it's really it's really about hope. But talk about how you brought jokes up to these people, bro. Uh, me and LB and I had a mutual friend. Who? Oh. Trust. <laughs> a mutual homegirl, whatever. Somebody people know, whatever. Uh, me and her linked up. Uh-huh. And then from there, it just became jokes up ice cream. So wait, hold up. You... This happened through a, a female, like a, yeah, like yeah. yo. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I, I, I hear what you said. So he was dating some girl, or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. And then and then you knew but the girl, knew, yeah. And then and, and then we connected it, and, and her. And then and okay. And then the whole thing came together. I have a question. Does that girl get any type of PC? Any type of record? Like what's I don't up? know nothing about her. Oh my god. That's crazy. So this girl is kind of like how Maybach had them girls that said Maybach music. Yeah, we don't know who that was, but, but we hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to yeah. that girl, man. <laughs> so she connected y'all. Yeah. And then talk about connecting the pieces. What was the logistics in that? Did you get like bred it up when you connected it? Did your investors yeah. look at you like more valuable? Like, if something comes with all of that. No, like like you said, the deals yeah. got better and yeah. better and better. Yeah. So it ended up working out great. Did you get a Did you get a bonus or anything? Sure, I did. Did you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah. Oh, this guy, boy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this nigga sick. You use it, of course. Yeah. Yo, shout out to that girl. Hey, shout what? out to. You can't say that girl. Like I want. I'm lost. I'm confused. What's her name? Oh, I don't even know her name. Damn. What's her name? <laughs> might, hey, might be knowing names. I don't know. The homie oh Lulu. my god. <laughs> Lulu, hey, he got high. You start forgetting names. That's crazy. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Look in my eyes. Roll them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck y'all. Hey, that's our that's our childhood joke. Hey, hey, yo, let's talk about high school, though, for real. What happened with Victor Rudd and all the big-ass, old-ass niggas, man? Uh, hey, shout-out Victor Rudd. That's my brother. No, not Victor. That nigga, London guy. That nigga. <laughs> you feel me? I'm, try, uh, I'm trying to get the homie to talk a little more before we end this shit. Uh, let's talk about in high, yeah, high school when... You was the man, homie. <laughs> fuck happened to you, Pierre? Trust. Ha, big Pete, trust. <laughs> big Pete. Pete. Little Mike. <laughs> ha, big Mike, yeah. yeah. Shout-out Big Mike. Come <laughs> Shout out Big P. Yo, so what plans do we got for, for the future, bro? Should we be expecting another uh, designer bag coming soon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure. At least by February. Oh, okay. So you guys, you guys already looking to the yeah, future? Yeah, do a birthday drop. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. That's so smart, bro. And are, are you coming up with these ideas by yourself? Or are you working alongside the owners of this brand? Like, how? how like, well, the bag idea is still going to be my brother. Soon, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel like that Don Julio. We do it. Hey, Fuck, me a, hey, shout out to my boy Joey's bladder. He got to go use the bathroom. Yeah, my bladder. bladder. I'm 30, dog. Shit, fuck, dog. Hey, I'm 32. We all 30 dirty. What the fuck? And 40. My nigga. No, I'm about to say Mike. Go say it. Mm, yeah, Mike. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I, you're a little slut. My, hey, my nigga been lying since high school. This nigga been lying since high school. He been lying since diapers, nigga. Relax. Where did I get that? Except for Ernesto. One day, this nigga got chased all around campus. True story. All around campus, but they never killed this dude. No, nah, they did. They put the gun out on me. Shout out Van Nuys High School, bro. They thought I was black one day, and I'm, I'm Dominican, but thank God, nigga, I'm, the, I'm black anyway, whatever. But, nigga, nigga, they really tried. They put a gun out on me, and they said, fuck niggers. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, they were, I was about to get blasted, bro. I was coming out of fucking uh, volleyball practice because... I wasn't trying to put, you know, football, when you play in the off season, if you, if you don't do another elective, they try to make you do track and run around. I was tired of getting hot in the sun, so I was like, I'm going to play volleyball because I'm inside. And He said, shout out to Joey's bladder. Hey, shout out to Joey's bladder. But yeah, nah, nah, because, you know, I'd rather play volleyball because the girls in there got the, the short shorts and shit. And we, we was kids in high school. I want, I'm trying to see some ass, nigga, real shit. So... I came out of volleyball practice and this Mexican dude, because remember who was it? Maurice. Maurice, 
Maurice picked up, uh, uh, he got into, say the story, he got into a fight with a Mexican nigga. What happened? Mike know what's up. Picked his ass up and slammed him. And put the nigga in a coma, so. Oh, really? Yeah, so then after that, all the Mexicans, Body of Van Nuys, in the area, they're like, nigga, fuck niggas, nigga, it's a green land on all niggas. I'm coming out of, ba- out of volleyball practice, nigga, and this nigga's like, fuck niggas. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then what happened, Mike? You said they was chasing me? Chasing him all around. <laughs> hey, yo, how about when you fought Gerard Murgerson and the twins, though, nigga? <laughs> nah, this nigga was fighting two, man. nigga. Nah, but, bro, this nigga p- picked a fight with two twin niggas that, like, man, they, they my niggas, and... But this nigga, Mike, was just the most, bro. He just... He knew he could fuck these niggas <laughs> up. <laughs> so he was fighting both of them. And then, I'm filming it. It's just, it's just, it was a bad Yeah, you were filming it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both of them <laughs> and he's always, oh, and you got film both on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have it? Bro, I have it all, bro. I, I got files. I need to see that. I'm, I'm a director, and I, I don't believe like, every single I look at the brother and say, put that clip on You want more? <laughs> hey, put that clip on here right now. <laughs> Should I? I yeah. wish I could see it. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm I saying. I want to see that. You know what I mean? Uh, two, two twins? Two twins. John <laughs> Murgerson and Gerald Murgerson. Yeah, that's Damn, funny. I just put the whole oh, oh, shit out like that. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, guys. Those Jeez. niggas is good people, man. We was growing up. We was all in high school and shit. Yo, where do you go to school at, bro? Let's talk a little uh, bit about that. In Lakewood. Lakewood? What? Lakewood? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Went to Artesia High School. Oh, Lakewood. shit. Who? Your basketball boy? <laughs> yeah, that's where he became a basketball one. <laughs> no. That's where he became. <laughs> yeah, talk about that. Talk about your little honey bunny. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> oh, Yo, Mike the, said. Bro. Mike is really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke too much of this shit, nigga. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey no, nah, it is some good ass weed, though, bro. No cap. Yo, so, okay, so they, so, Saturday, Saturday, the what is, when is the event? Saturday, Saturday? drop, be here, be square. Okay. November 18th. November 18th, okay, let them know. Saturday, November 12th, oh. 18th, oh my God. (laughs) Saturday, (laughs) November 18th. Hit that beat. Be here, be square, motherfucker. (laughs) Yo, (laughs) bag. Facts, okay, let them know. Look. Look. He's like, damn, that's looking good. Hey, that's that P exotic shit. You said what? You said what? Then don't follow us to the club. And after 6 o'clock, your, your time is cut. <laughs> <laughs> don't go follow us to the vibe after the vibe. Uh, don't follow us to the vibe. <laughs> no. Hey, they at the vibe out there, man. Make sure if you come Saturday, you don't act scary. Let them know you saw him on the podcast. No, Let them know you fucking with him. And yo, if you pass by Ventura and you drive this by Studio oh, City, make sure you pick this shit up, yeah, man. Yeah, these, these cream leaves. Oh, yo, yo, these, talk about these. Yeah, these cream leaves, yeah. These. Yo, hold up. What you, you what's, cream. what's going so on? So, the, the part of my company for this, we, we're in tobacco now. So, we got uh, the, the leaves, they dark. Open them up. Yo, yo, open them up. They yeah, let me see that. Let me see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on, that man. natural thing. Yeah, I see high. this. Bro, y'all got so much shit. Hey, you, hit that, 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 you hit that. You hit that. And he hit it hard, too. He was I'm like, fucking high. I'm fucking high. Yeah. You're all right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love that right. relationship. No, that's how they do it. But no, Mike's like that. My, Mike's the type of like, all right, bitch. Like, oh, yeah, look at this. Wow. <laughs> it was it's dark as fuck. Hey, that's good, bro. Shout out to John. Little chart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Little chart. The cream leaves. Right, <laughs> over. Hey, yo. Hey, the cream, yo. Hey, the cream leaves. Hey, shout out. To, how they smell? They good? Yeah, they look they, good. I rolled this shit up. That's right the now. natural. We got four. We got four flavors. Mm. Well, four flavors. We, 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 got, we got a collaboration with uh, Kalen too, for real. Oh okay. shit. Wee. Yeah, his play of flavors is fire. So the cream leaves have four flavors. So it would be natural, and what are the other three? One is natural. One is like a Russian cream that's Kalen's. Mm. One is like a sweet, like aromatic flavor that's a uh, turkey leg cut. Oh, you heard it here first. Yeah, and then we got one with Maxo cream. Oh, that was like a, like a Hennessy, like a cognac flavor. Okay. That's yeah, like a wild rum. Dude. Hey, well, shit, man. This, that, 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 uh, any last shout outs? Any last things you yeah, want to touch man, up on before we get out of here? Shout out to Velasquez, man. You know, he's in love right now. So Cuts. Cut. Cut. <laughs> you should have cut 10 minutes ago, nigga. Uh, <laughs> I never let her go. I never let her go. Shout out to Queen Jasmine J. Yes, sir. Oh my bitch, God, I love you. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Shout out to Boogie. Oh. Oh. Shout out to Boogie. Oh. Shout out to Boogie. Oh. Shout out to Boogie.
been trying to get rid of you for a long time, but I oh see you on the stage for a long time, so I, you know, fuck it, yeah. Hey, hey shout God. out to Jess B. Yeah, we fuck with you, girl. You look oh crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah what other shout out? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Shout out, bitch. Yeah. Keep going. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out to Nikki, baby. Yeah, we, we see you, baby. Woo! Shout out, man. Get your shout out, man. Go, go. Get your shout out. Is this a monkey? Shout out to my girl. She's loyal. Nothing made. Is it smoking? We out. No.